Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 21st, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. It was a cold and windy morning, so I didn't rush out of the house, but I did take a look at the lake, which was really roaring from those strong winds. From the north lookout in the morning, I had 12 species, with the only thing slightly interesting was six tree swallows that were going by in the strong winds. The count today was conducted from the south lookout because the winds had a northerly component. The winds were moderate to strong from the northwest pretty much the whole day until the very end when they calmed down a little bit. It was mostly sunny with a small number of clouds here and there. And overall, it was pretty cold with temperatures starting below freezing and getting up to the mid to upper 30s. It was a turkey vulture kind of day with a slow movement of individuals and small groups throughout the day. Ended up having around 500 total for the day, which sounds impressive, but when it spread out over eight hours, it felt like a pretty slow day overall. Here's the only hawk of the day that gave me a somewhat good look. On this bird, we see a belly band and dark patagial bars. This is a red-tailed hawk, and we see that dark trailing edge to the wings and the red tail that indicate it's an adult red-tailed hawk. There were a few common ravens around, and even at this going away angle, you can tell it has a larger head and bill, a longer tail, and longer, more pointed wings than an American crow would show. Here we have a large, lanky, black and white raptor that's drooping its wings. This is an osprey. Here we have a hawk with a long tail, and on this bird we can see that it has a bit of a rounded tail with a nice white tip to it, and the overall proportion, somewhat big and lanky looking, make this an adult cooper's hawk. Here we have another hawk with a long tail. This one's a little bit more compact in its proportions. We see a more square tip to the tail, a small head, and shorter, more rounded wings with bulging secondaries. This is a sharp-shinned hawk. Here we have a Budio with a slight droop to the wings. We see a lot of orange to the underside of the wings and the body, and some black and white patterning to the wings and tail. This is an adult red-shouldered hawk. And that flight of turkey vultures continued through the afternoon with individuals and small groups continuing to move until the count ended at 5 o'clock. I was surprised to see that with all the warm days we've had recently that in certain spots there's still snow on the ground. And from the south lookout I had 25 species. Not too many highlights did have one kill deer down on the ground and also a few eastern meadow larks. And after dark tonight, a beautiful aurora was visible out over Lake Ontario. My first aurora from Derby Hill. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrating raptor totals, today we had 501 turkey vultures, one osprey, three bald eagles, two sharp-shinned hawks, two cooper's hawks, two red-shouldered hawks, and 14 red-tailed hawks for a total of 525 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 7,974. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, they're calling for periods of rain, a high in the mid-40s, and wind south at 10 to 15 miles per hour, shifting west at 20 to 30 miles per hour with the passage of a cold front that will probably hit sometime in the early to mid-afternoon. So before the front hits, those southerly winds are more favorable and we could definitely get a flight as long as it's not too rainy. So I would check the forecast and the radar in the morning to see what that rain is doing. But it's good winds in the morning, so as long as the showers aren't too extensive, we could end up with somewhat of a flight. But I think once that wind shift happens with the cold front and those winds get really strong from the west, that will probably shut things down. So you'll want to be here before that and we could get a push right before the cold front. For Sunday, it's looking mostly sunny with a high around 32 and northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So similar to today, but a lighter wind speed will probably be down at the south lookout and would only expect light, maybe moderate migration. And for Monday, it's looking cloudy with showers with a high up around 50, winds south-southeast shifting west-southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it's a decent wind direction and definitely a day to keep an eye on. And again, it will kind of depend on how much rain there ends up being. But Monday could be a good day coming up. All right. Well, today felt like a slower day for sure. But 500 birds is 500 birds, even if they're all turkey vultures. So we'll take it. And it looks like we may end up with some flights coming up on the southerly winds as long as it's not too rainy. The other first for the season that I had today, since there were no new species, I had the first marriage proposal of the season. Uh, this evening I looked out my window and there was a proposal going on over on the bluff, so congratulations to them. I hope to see you out soon at the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown.
Thanks for watching.